Hey, what's up YouTube? Thanks for joining me today. Today I've got a special review. I've been uh, wanting to do a review for the T2i and the T3i and especially the T1i. So all three of those cameras. If any of you guys got those cameras, I've got a T2i here with me today. Bam. It took a little while to get here because the train derailed. Anyway, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use all these functions. I'm going to go through all the buttons. I'm going to show you how to access your exposure compensation. I'm going to show you the professional shooting modes that are on this camera. I could show you on my camera, but since most of you guys have T3Is and 2Ti's, this is going to be ideal. That way you can get a hands-on review and look at what I'm going to do and how to uh, work your camera. So now that I got it in my hands, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you how to use all the buttons. I'm going to show you how to access a lot of the features that we've been covering in a lot of my videos. So I know a lot of you have been asking for that. So finally, the day is here. All right, let's take a look. The T2i does come with just the body or with a kit lens. In this case, this is a kit lens that comes with it. It's an 18 to 55 millimeter with automatic focus and obviously manual focus. It also does have an image stabilizer that you can use, which is a great thing to have. Now, again, if you guys know me and seen a lot of my posts, uh, my beef with lenses that are a, a variable aperture, I really don't like them. But for the purposes of learning, I think it's fine that way you guys get to understand how how lenses work. This lens is an aperture range between 3.5 and 5.6. So that means if you're zoomed out at 18, then your uh, aperture will drop down to 3.5. But as soon as you zoom in to 55, then what's going to happen is your camera, your lens, I'm sorry, is going to change your aperture to a 5.6. So even if you set your aperture in aperture priority mode, let's say to 3.5, but you zoom in, your lens is going to change that uh, automatically because it doesn't allow you that 2.8 constant aperture. So I just want to make a point that the T2 T2i, T3i, and the T1i pretty much are going to look the exact same way. So what I'm going to show you here will serve uh, for you T1i users and T3i users. Uh, the menu at the back is pretty simple to access. After today's show, you will definitely be uh, familiar with all the settings and how to get to them. Let's start by using the uh, quick menu here. If we select this Q button that we've got right here, it'll access the menu. So now you can use these buttons to scroll around. As you can see what I'm doing here, I'm cycling through the different setting options that are available on the camera. Uh, that way you don't have to go deep into the menu by clicking this button. You can access everything just right here. So let's start uh, with exposure compensation since this is probably one of the bigger ones that everybody wants to know how to access. So uh, you can cycle again using these buttons here. And here we are on exposure compensation. And this is what it looks like. So for this demonstration, uh, I'm going to switch over to AV mode. So let's access that exposure compensation. Click there. And you can see that we can darken our image. Okay, and we can brighten it up. Okay, now also if you notice, as you cycle through the different modes, that one item disappears from the top here. Don't forget, each mode takes away one option that you would otherwise have in manual. So if we move to the next mode, here's our shutter mode. You no longer see your aperture here because it won't give you that. But you, can, you do have control of your ISO and your shutter speed. So this is TV mode. If we move to program mode, both your shutter and your aperture options are gone and you're only left with your ISO. Uh, so if we go back all the way up to manual, everything's available, okay? So hitting the quick menu button again lets you access the menu. That way you can cycle through the different options here. You can go to your automatic white balance here. You can cycle through all the different um, white balance options that are available on the camera. Here, let's go to the metering modes that are available on your camera. And this is how you change it. See, here's all the different metering modes. Here's your evaluative, your partial, and your spot metering. Okay, another way to access your exposure compensation is by using this dedicated button that's on your camera. So if you don't want to, you know, pick up your camera and look through the screen, while you're shooting in here, you can hold this down 
and move your exposure compensation so it's it's quick access to it so instead of having to push this button and come up and cycle through the different options to this here you can just hold this button down while turning your mode dial so it's a pretty way to easy way to get a hold of your um, exposure compensation the other option that you have available here is your different shooting modes so here is your single shooting here is a continuous shooting so if you're doing sports and you want to capture uh, a lot of shots and in a continuous burst you can set it to this and it'll take a few pictures at one time here is your self timer remote if you have a remote uh, external remote you plug it in and leave it on this setting your, your two second self timer uh, and a self timer continuation so you can change how long you want that timer to be you can go all the way up to 10 seconds or two you know this one leaves you two this one leaves you a little bit more options uh, to change okay so another way to access all these options or most of these options you can do so by just hitting these buttons here if you access the menu by pushing the Q button then all these buttons allow you to move about the different functions that are available on the camera but if you exit out of the quick menu then all these buttons become dedicated buttons for you to reach for instance your white balance so instead of having to go into quick menu and going to your white balance here then all you have to do is just click this button as it's dedicated to it so it's a quick access to it uh, same thing with your timer if you want to change the kind of uh, drive mode that are that's available on your camera then you can cycle through the different options just by hitting that button also your uh, picture styles this is where you can quickly access it by pushing that button right there and then finally your AF modes your automatic focus modes here's your one shot your AI focus and, and your AI servo so it's really quick um, a lot of options are available on the T2i and the T3i uh, to access all these functions uh, really easily but again this will meet a lot of your pro amateur needs these cameras uh, that's why I really like them and I push a lot of you guys to buy these cameras it's just because they're so versatile they're inexpensive they pack a big punch with a with that 18 mega pixel sensor on there and the 1080p video uh, another good feature is this button right here dedicated for live view mode this is what the 7d has but the t3i i believe the 60d has it and the t2i have it um, so by pushing this button it'll automatically take you to live view mode so you can start recording video or you can start taking pictures by just looking through the live view mode Another button dedicated to accessing your AF point selection is right here at the top. So by clicking this button, it takes you to this menu where you can cycle through the different um, uh, focus point selections. So this is manual. If you keep turning it, it'll take you all around the different focus points. And then obviously it'll allow you to select an automatic selection as well. Okay, so another button available so you don't have to scroll through that quick menu as I've been showing you guys is your ISO. So a lot of these features that you want to access just by pushing one button is available on the T2i and the T3i and even the T1i. Uh, granted that the T3i and T2i have a few more buttons that you can, uh, dedicated buttons that you can access quickly. Okay guys, so I'm out of here. I hope you guys learned a lot with everything I showed you today. And if you haven't, please leave me your questions questions and comments in the section below and I'll be sure to get back to you right away. Please visit my Facebook page, facebook.com slash creativeutv, right there. Go check it out. I can't wait to see some more photos. I can't wait to give away more stuff. If you guys have time, make sure you visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and Blogger. So if you don't have time to watch these videos, you can definitely read them if you like that sort of stuff. Anyways guys, I'll see you later. Thanks again. Hope you learned a lot today. Peace.